Today we are joined by Big Brother 12's Matt Hoffman to get some of his thoughts on Big Brother 17 and the gameplay of this season. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Into it. Um, have you been watching the feeds this season? Oh, I did not watch the feeds. However, I, uh, I, I figured them out. So you're caught up. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna ruin anything. All right, perfect. So, um, what are your thoughts just so far on the season, the gameplay, compared to last season? Uh, I don't know why this is, uh, but I, I tend to lean towards the even-numbered seasons. It's better. <laughs> and the odd numbers, I tend to not like. And it's, again, for no reason, it just turns out that way. And I, 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 there's a point in this season where I was really peeking on it and kind of down on it again. So I definitely like last season better. Uh, I like the Derek's strategy, but I like Vanessa's strategy. I don't know She's kind of like a more erratic, erotic, manic Derek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people make models. that comparison. Yeah, so uh, so that's fun. I don't know. I, uh, I, I don't know. A lot of, it's getting a little heavy, you know, in recent <laughs> seasons and stuff with the characters and whatnot. It's, it's a whole different game than it used to be, man. I don't know if you're a fan of the show, Bob, and multiple days. Oh, yeah, every season. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad order, but it's just different. It's a different era. And it used to be real, like, it didn't matter if you were a hard body or not, or if people wanted to look at you, or if you were funny. It was like a good strategist, and people were playing this weird game. And, and then it got all, like, twisty and crazy, and, you know, that moment. It's so, like, recruited and casting, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so it's it's all different. And, uh, and again, not bad or good, you know? It's more, I'd say it has more entertainment value now. I get it from a TV perspective. Uh, if I was making the show, I'd want to do what they're doing now, because it's cool, it's more acceptable, and fun for me. But as a purist of the game and a fan of your game and stuff, I don't know. I just I like to see the players play. I'm not really worried about if they're going to get on both and feel so after the show. So <laughs> that should be like low on the priority. I agree. I agree. So do you think you prefer even seasons because you were on an even season? No, and I feel like <laughs> no. I, it's very. It's not like I, I don't go into it going, like, oh, it's not season going to be a good, uh, bad year. You know, it just it just had the, the cards seem to keep falling that way. Uh, as a fan, I don't know that I don't mind what it been maybe on the lower rung of the even seasons. Okay. All right. Very cool. Um, so one of the big twists this season was the twin twist. And it kind of took a different turn than what I expected with wanting to keep the two in the game. Would you have gone that route, like Vanessa and Austin, or would you have gone more so, let's evict the twin before the other one comes in? Yeah, I think... Uh... Well, the whole, this season's great. Here's why, here's why I love this season. Here's what my favorite part about the season is what a disaster. I thought I lived in the season for most disastrous days. It was just eviscerated in, like, day two or something. But uh, this is great. So they have a mini takeover. It's just kind of because if we are told, it's supposed to be every week there's a new takeover. Not only do they announce anything, saying it's decimated, it just, like, slept in the crowd quietly. Like, it just, it just an implied sucking. It's kind of sucky. We all sort of know, so I don't get to say anything about it. And then, uh, and then the Delta, the thing that they hand down is this twin twist, which is even as a casual viewer of the CBS shows, you can tell these two that it takes apart, like, I'm kind of dying. For sure you can. So, mm -hmm. the test, these twins are like, I mean, I guess genetically they're twins, but if you're living with these people, there's no way they're going to pull this off. I mean, it's obvious. And of course, that blows up like a baby in the You're like, all the twists are too far because they found kind of. And so, I, I love that. Because I hate twists, so like, I love seasons with no twists, and in this case, they tried to over twist it so much that it just ended up having no twists in a way. So, that, so that, as far as it's a strategic move, I told them no, you wouldn't really want them in the game, and then it gets crazier now for the first time, and there's three of them, and they're having no one cares. Why would you not? Liz should be the first person to put up every week, because she's like the middle segment of this human segment of the that's running around the house. I agree. I agree completely. All right. Um, so we kind of talked about the takeovers. We do have a fan question, if you don't mind, that they wrote in. Um, they want to know if you were playing this season, who would you want to align with? Uh, uh, James and I would get along well. It is important to align with people that you also associate with your life. It's great. You know, there's an exact goal. You know what? I think you should go to the next week. You should either align with someone really, really get along with well, because then it makes it just easier to maintain the alliance. Or with somebody who totally just not, because it's a secret. But that being 
said, I can change that. I think we need to get with your mom. Or Johnny Mac, too. But Johnny Mac, uh, I think that would be bad strategically. We just had a lot of fun. James, we had a lot of fun. And everything. So, now, do you know who's on the block currently? I do. You're up to date. Okay, so if, if Meg goes this week, what do you think James's best game move is going to be? Well, I mean, that, that in and of itself is a great game move for James to have Meg gone uh, because then he's off of the whole duo thing. Uh, so, you know, he's obviously lost the target. And at that point, yeah, what should he do? I don't know. I don't think he has, like, I don't think he'd have no problem to do because that is. <laughs> Out of what's really happening in the game, I feel. I think he's probably most out him and Mag are both most out of the loop currently. And not even in a dangerous way. I feel like Mag goes and needs to go right out. Awesome player. I hope so. I'm pulling for him. Yeah, yeah, he's good. <laughs> were there any uh, members pre jury that you were kind of sad to see go or surprised that they went out so early? Yeah, like Jason, I thought was uh, not only funny, but He's a good player. I he, I like when fans get on the show, and he was clearly a huge fan of like free view and all that stuff. And, and he was definitely charismatic, and he had a good type of game. He got kind of screwed over a bit. Uh, Day, I thought, was kind of a really great strategy. Mm-hmm. She had everything figured out. That week, I don't remember the specific, because I don't even remember like, yesterday or <laughs> the season. But I just remember thinking that, uh, that he, she has everything figured out. She calls people out. She's right, and it's obvious. And they're like, well, let's get her out. Or, what is the panel deal? Like, I don't even know. I don't understand. Like, it just seems all crazy. So I don't think I think she went. But there was going to be like a, you know, there's this like ominous, uh, there's going to be like pre jury season, you know, redemption with the pre jury people. And uh, the only people that think that's a good idea are people who didn't make it to jury. But in reality, no one wants to see these people come back. But like, Day would be someone who I think should get another shot and maybe one. Because I think she really had her head in the right spot. It's gonna what about, you didn't mention Audrey. What do you think about her gameplay? <laughs> She's one of the worst to play in the game. I'm not the worst. I'm talking about her gameplay. I think she's probably one of the worst to play in the game. I mean, talk about laying down and dying. You see it a lot of times. It's like figurative. It's a little less literal than she did as well. Uh, I think she's just, I think she's one of the worst to play in the game. I think she's one of the worst to play in the game. I think she's one of the worst to play in the game. I think she's one of the worst to play in the game. Even if you think things are all against you and things are okay, whatever you want to think, you're still not working. If you're laying around the pool, maybe getting ahead of a million dollars, and you're a, you're a big brother. Like, mm-hmm. Shut up and stop complaining. I hate that. I hate when people just like respond to this. So to me, you know, she just laid down and died and then let her die. She was horrible. It was too much. It was supposed to be transgender. We all liked her now. But mm-hmm. I want to like her. I mean, I'm proud of her. Would you compare her to Devin from last season? Uh, <laughs> I'm curious, like, I wouldn't, but maybe I would. Maybe I'm not thinking I watch. I watch a lot of Rob has a podcast. I know you've been on there before, and he always compares her to Devin. So I was just curious if he had the same same thought process or not. <laughs> She doesn't, I don't think so. Not that I know of, but, you know. Her, I think it's more so her waking people up in the middle of the night, stuff like that. <laughs> oh, see, I never got, I need to watch the whole bunch. I just uh-huh. need the updates. Uh, That's okay. Understandable. Um, so speaking of the jury, how do you think this jury is going to vote? Are they going to be more so voting for their best friend or looking at who had the best gameplay? Well, uh, this is part of why I like the vote. One of the things that I think uh, has around the middle of the season. This big brother, I think, is pretty, pretty, very, very typical. Mm-hmm. Like, more so than I think the bottom of the middle of the season. Whereas, uh, big brother, I think, they use that mentality during the game. Like, oh, you know, I'm not going to vote for you in a jury or send me a jury. I'm going to tell the other jurors and get them against you. But I was in jury, and I think you have, you may have to be not using that. You might really think that that's what you think you're going to do. But honestly, when the game's over, the game's over, and I think the other players more than most of the shows kind of respect the game a little bit and have been through it. Uh, mm-hmm. And so I think they tend to vote some team. I hope they I hope you're right. I hope so. <laughs> um, were you happy that Johnny Mac re entered the house, or were you hoping for one of the other jury members? The Johnny Mac's not a weird one because I, I <laughs> love him. Like, he, like everyone, he loved the game. 
don't mind briefly I just want to go through each of the current players and get just your thoughts quickly because I know you have somewhere to be um, so what are your thoughts on Meg? Uh, Meg is uh, I don't know I, you know she's kind of <laughs> she's a person that I think uh, what you, let me ask you real quick I'm going to answer the same no matter what I'm just kind of curious mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'm excited I got it they they and like I, her. I think the audience is kind of rooting for her and James right now because they're the underdogs. But as far as like gameplay goes, a lot of people don't see Meg as a great game player. But as a person, they're rooting for her. I find her like irritating in a way that. Uh, that is appealing to like a mass audience. That's why I feel like I wonder if the CBS people and like the viewers and like, you know the older men on their couch with their families and stuff. Oh, that's so funny because he's like loud mm-hmm. and you know, animated. I don't know, man. I find the whole their whole character irritating. It's like, it's just, it's like the loud drunk girl. You know, they just want to go like, come on, give them space and act like tone it down. I agree. I want her to win something because every time somebody gets an HOH basket, she is the first person to eat something out of it. Every time. And I just I want her to win her own basket. Yeah, she's got really good stuff. I feel like she's got the time. I got her the person. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's got the time. Okay, no on Meg. What about Austin? Definitely no on Austin. I find what's fascinating in an odd way, I think, uh, he's so kind of like, he's got like this dirty looking where <laughs> you wonder, at least it's like relatively clean looking, you wonder what, I ask my wife all the time because I don't like that, you know, so mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm like thinking like, I put myself in a mindset like, well, here's what someone who likes and I think, but what well, do I know? So I ask my wife where she likes and I go, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of dirty and like what you want to be rubbing <laughs> up at it and I said, like, it's definitely like it's dirty. And so, and I don't know that yes, but it's about to get clean, but I think so. I, I, that relationship is odd. It's really odd. I, I, and he's a little, a little kind of off putting in a way, I feel as a woman. Again, I'm trying to put myself in a of a woman and it's hard for you, but I feel yeah. like And I feel like he's a little like, yeah, you know, be like, I think he, so I like watching them unfold because it's like how far is this going to go yeah. before she goes what, what am I doing here with this thing and then she never does it it goes deeper and now he's asking me a girlfriend or what I'm just like wow <laughs> it's, it's actually happening it's like that's strategy it's a real thing so uh, what do I think about Austin I'm helped by all I think you're on the right I track I think it's kind of Yeah, I don't. I agree. He creeps. He creeps me out a little bit. I got nothing to do today. You're good. Mm-hmm. 
knows. Yeah. yeah. He's weird because he's like saying that he's wanting the WWE to see what they missed out on, but then he's got pictures with past house guests that he met up with because he was a fan, so I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, to no, Austin. No, um, so, I mean, you talked about Johnny Mac some. Did you, do you have anything else to say about him? Or? Oh, he's great. Uh, yeah, I love, like, the Rain Man guitar ability. I'm a musician myself, so I, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just so goofy, and then you know, it's some music clips and whatnot. And the really audience, man, it's just it's incredible. It's like that element of his character, like, I remember seeing that probably like, the first week or two in the season. And that old first week or two, you just see he's this goofball, uh, probably pretty Jerry Blue, and like, oh, well, if you can do that, he's got to kind of, he must have something, you know, something, whatever, he's done in that, in that <laughs> you know, and so, you know, I, I, I like him. Right, I like him. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Um, we talked about Liz. Anything else about her? No, I get the cool fascination. I think they're ever going to make it outside the sausages. I don't. I think that they think that they're right to all. They, they, don't they do. Austin's made that comment a lot. I guess Rachel liked him and told, you know, told him she was rooting for him at the end of her interview, which I don't know, maybe she told everyone that, but he, like, keeps telling Liz, oh, we're going to have Brunchel, all their fans are going to love us. Brunchel's so great and pure and, like, weird in their own weird, real way. It's just weird, big, odd way. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I like Julia better than this. I like, you know, I don't like Julia as much, but they, like when they're switching, when mm -hmm. they get together, they're, they're dynamic and their reactions are high five. They're, they're funny, yeah. Um, so let's just go, Julia. Anything else about her? Yeah, you know, I mean, she's here as much as Julia, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just think she's a little funnier, maybe, but. See, I like her when she's apart from Liz. I feel like she's nicer to the people in the house. That's true. Like Good point. <laughs> what about Steve? Uh, I want to like Steve, but I just actually bring myself to do it. I like the underdog aspect, I like the nerd, I like, I like, I like when awkward people who use big brother to come out of their shell. I think that's a cool, like, you know, it's almost like changes you or whatever. I mean, it's cool for some people. I think that, you know, it's probably different. But, but he's not, I don't know. Do you do you see Ian comparisons with him? I love Ian, and so no, no. I, I you know pre season and he was terrific. But really, he's not only for season part two now. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. Um, let's see, James. We kind of know you're a big fan of his. Oh, James. Yeah, I think he'd be real fun to hang out with. I think I think honestly, he's a great kid. Uh, you can win when he needs to, and you split up the, the trio. Just give them, and it'll just be a bunch of cocky and just stand there. And you're kind of, yeah, it's crazy how quick the game ends. What are they, they're kicking out the eighth place jury, seventh or eighth now this week? Yeah, we like got eight people left. Game, seven people. So it all goes real quick. So at this point, if he does make it, and he's very, very lucky, uh, I think he's going to be most enjoyable. It's just out of respect for he kind of was struggling most of the game. His alliance is on the like, outs for the general. Time. Mm -hmm. So, is that a pretty good position? No, I think so too. Um, last person, Vanessa. I like her since day one, and I continue to like her. I, like, I, I, uh, I like the whole Derek. She's like you know, a Derek, but like, kind of maybe in a way more entertaining to watch because of the summary. Crazy shit. So, I love it. It's, you know, the female and all. Like, Derek was like, a total cool cat. You know, like, mm -hmm. And what's interesting too, and I, She's a winner, and she, she, I think her and James are kind of poised for the two best positions at this point to win. And uh, if it comes down to that, like we saw Derek won last season, and such a huge crux of his gameplay was in lying about, like, using his occupational skills for the long term economy. And, and I feel like a lot of her skill search for this people as also her occupation. She's the base of being people she has been. Uh, and, she, and, I, and not even just that, but not the effectiveness of her reading people and that she's right or wrong, mm -hmm. but like that intimidation, she can just give you that eye contact, stay on, making you want to you know, be honest with her. So I think she just plays a good, good talking game, mm -hmm. very poker. Very poker. So, uh, she's, she's been very emotional. Do you think that that's her being emotional, or is that part of her game plan? 
I think that's how. I don't think it's possible for anything like that. And I don't think, honestly, I don't think that's possible for a gay place. It's possible for my entertainment. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and that's why I kind of like watch it, too. And it's cool that it's made up. So ultimately, if you had to pick one person out of those eight, who was the winner of Big Brother 17? I think Jameson was the position, but I think Vanessa was one of the hardest and she probably, I think, at this point, she was just... Well, we'll see if she survives. Double eviction. If they know, this is just crazy. They have to, I mean, it has to, it's a noisy difficult. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to finally do it. Um, another fan question. They want to know, we probably get this one a lot, if they do an All-Stars or a Second Chances, do you want to come back? I don't get any questions a lot because no one wants to talk to me about that. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, but would I, I come back? Yeah, I'd be here. I'd love to. Yeah, it's like, you're asking someone if they want to stop working <laughs> and play around all summer and make a ton of money and Anyone who says no is lying to you. People that go off the show and go, oh, I'd never go back. For sure, it's because they don't think they'll ever be asked back, so it's their psychological defense mechanism, and, like, kind of preserving their ego or whatever. And mm-hmm. I don't think I'll be asked back. I'll be just like, of course I would not go. It's, yeah. it's as any stranger on the street. Hey, you want to go away for two months and maybe one and a half million dollars? And just, you know, just have some fun games. <laughs> well, yes. Yes. Absolutely. I will. I'm going to say Matt told me to call you out. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Why not? Um, who, if anyone, do you still keep in touch with from your season? for you. You said you enjoy when fans get on the show, super fans. Yes. But I feel like we're seeing less and less of those. Yes. Do you have any... I heard, I heard only seven applicants on the podcasts. Yeah, Becky, I know she was found on Tinder, so <laughs> I don't know how that, that works. But <laughs> So, do you have any advice for any fans wanting to get on the show? Sign up for Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It's like before I got on, I had a mindset that no one gets on the shows. It's like people that know, know someone, whatever, be fine. And it could be good. I'm honestly like, I don't want to smoke, you know, since I wake up, there's a family. So when I got on, my whole mindset changed. Oh my God, I'm like, what? I'm just a small person that makes a plan on this show. I'm crazy. Like, why did they do this? And uh, so I'm about to, you know, it's like, oh, you know, then it was on the show, and it's like, it was all pretty legit. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the thing. And now, uh, even though I know that, and even though it happened to me, I'm watching season after season, and I'm like, I'm back to almost thinking what I thought before I got on the show again. And it's like, how do you get on the show? It's no one really gets on the show, even though I did it. I did it. Because it seems just like a bunch of characters. Did you go to the casting call, or did you send in a video? No, I sent in a video, but I applied for like 10 years, and I applied for it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but that was just video. Yeah. Normal. Okay. In fact, the only video I saw this year, the vacation video, was James. I saw it on YouTube. Someone posted mm-hmm. it. So, yeah. And it was very similar to mine. It was. Kind of, you know, it's yeah. kind of the same. I can't even turn around and sit in this room. It's kind of BSing about what's going on in this world. And, like, it really didn't seem very interesting. I thought the same about mine. And it's like, you know, I guess they see something and what they want. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much all the questions I have. Anything else you wanted to touch on? Oh, no. Thanks for uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything going on in your world you wanted to plug? Anything you've got 
going on? Oh, um, Twitter and All right, Twitter. We'll put it up on the, on the page. <laughs> Regular guy. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you changing the time for us and everything. And there you have it. That is our interview with Big Brother 12's Matt. Everything that he is thinking about the current season of Big Brother. Be sure to follow Matt on Twitter and Instagram. Those will be uh, links to those down below in the description bar. And thank you guys so much for listening.